Mr. Griffin, you were a married man who had a two-year affair with your wife's stepsister, the defendant. You say that relationship produced a daughter, but Ms. Richmond claims you are not her daughter's biological father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Your other daughter, Lakeisha, is here to support your claim. Ms. Richmond, you admit to the affair with Mr. Griffin, but say you are positive the plaintiff is not your daughter's biological father and you plan to prove that in court today. Is that correct? That is correct, Your Honor. And so how do you end up having an affair with your sister's husband? Not thinking, just being wild at that time of my age and just not, just not caring about anything. I can admit to that. I'm trying to fix it for her now. Mr. Griffin, I have to ask you now, I mean, you a married man, and it's bad enough you sleeping around outside the marriage. But your wife's sister? That was an honest, honest mistake, Your Honor. But uh, at the same... At, Wait, at, now, there wasn't no mistake in identity. Yeah, you knew it yeah, was your yeah, wife's I sister. I No, I'm talking about, about me doing what I did. Was it an honest mistake or a dishonest mistake? A dishonest mistake. Mm-hmm. How long did this mistake... It lasted, I'd say, about two years. Yeah. Two years? About a year. I yeah. know a year. I know a year. This wasn't no mistake. This was a decision. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yeah. Hey. So, so, for two years, you were sleeping with your wife's sister? Yes. Regularly? Yes. Often. Very often. Without yeah. protection? Without protection. Mm-hmm. Lord. You should be able to be alone right. with your sister's husband and not sleep with him yes, or him right. not sleep with you. But how are you all spending this much time where this type of relationship could develop? Because he was taking me home from when I used to go over to their house to visit my stepsister and stuff. How long had you been married at the time, Mr. Griffin? I'm still about 10 years. So you all had known each other for an extended amount of time. Oh, this is all in the family. All in the family, Your Honor. I was in love, so I thought that... I thought what I thought was love back in that time. Oh, because you had worked yourself up that you were in love with him. Yes, Your Honor. I think that's why I chose to tell him first before anyone else that he was the father. We slept together more unprotected than I did with the other gentlemen. And when you told him, what was his response? Do you remember? As I remember, he said, yes right off. Uh, he came over to my house and he picked her up and he went up on the stairs and he, you know, put her up to the light and he said, yeah, she could be mine. And that was the last we ever discussed her really seriously. That's the last you discussed her paternity? Of him seeing her, actually, of me and him talking about her or being yeah, i never seen one. her. Yeah, I've never... That's he, because ho- she left. Hold on, Miss... I'm coming Hold to that on, Miss Richmond. I'm coming to that part. Miss Richmond, Tykea, you're asserting in court today that you have not seen Mr. Griffin? I've seen him one time when I was, like, 14. But in your life? In my life. I, I spoke to him to the first time on the phone, like, the other week. I never That's because I didn't know what him. Did that. 30 years I've been knowing that she's my daughter. So you've never had a doubt? Never had a doubt. In 30 years? In 30 years. I did tell him that I was pregnant, but also I did tell him he was the father, but at the time he also knew I was, you know, with other people also, and he was a married man, so... And I'm sure he was with other people, too, so I was with two other guys. So you are admitting that at the window... During the window of conception, you were also sleeping with two other men? Yes, Your Honor. Did you tell those men you were pregnant as well? No, Your Honor. No. Why did you only choose to tell Mr. Griffin? Mr. Griffin was the one I was with mostly all the time. Mostly. Right. So and that's so why I And so you know I it only takes it once, yes. though, right? Yes, ma'am. Her mother's saying there is doubt and you're not. How can you be so sure? Got fools here. Uh, when I was young and she's, she was young. Jerome, let me, let me see that. And because if, if it wasn't my daughter, why would the reason come she come and tell me that she was pregnant? Were you with her all during the pregnancy? No. We were never together. No, you weren't together when during the pregnancy. After I got pregnant, we never had too much contact because I got into a relationship no, that with was another you because gentleman. You didn't want to come over. Why you were pregnant I with his child? Out. We didn't hardly see but each she other. She was trying to hide it from a stepsister. So, Mr. Griffin, how did you tell your wife that you got her sister pregnant? I didn't. <laughs> because I was too embarrassed to tell her, I, you know, I did that. 
you know? So, Taiki, I want to hear from you. Right. Because I want to understand, at what point did you find out? Um, he... Like, the first time someone brought his name up was, like, um, my mom never brought his name up. And then we went to Albany when I was in the third grade, and my aunt and my cousin say, oh, you look just like the Griffins. You look just like the Griffins. That's like what everybody always say. You look just like those Griffins. And I'm like, who is the Griffin? She's like, oh, no, those not your people. That's not your dad. I don't know. My mom, yeah, I, I when people ask me him. who's my dad, I always said my whole life, I don't have a dad. I don't know my dad. I don't have a name. My mom never told me a name. How hard is that as a young woman growing up? It's just sad. And then I always have to hear stupid stories now about some old 70s triangle love, triangle, like, I, it's just stupid. Wow, your family, they're, they're your links. They're your pieces to your puzzle when you figure out who you are as a child. Exactly. I, I mean, without that, I can imagine that you did feel like you didn't know where you came from. I'm sorry about that, too, because I was very selfish for years, and I didn't want to deal with my past, but I wasn't thinking about your life, and I'm right. sorry. Probably when I was, like, in high school, I got a message on MySpace. Can you remember MySpace? I sure do. <laughs> I wasn't on it, but I remember so it. I got a message on MySpace from uh, Lakeisha. Just a long little thing saying, I think you're my sister, and I'm just like, uh, like, who is this girl? So and wait, so when you first got the message, were you overwhelmed with the motion, or did you feel like it was a prank? What, what were you thinking? I, I just thought she was crazy because <laughs> of what my mom say. Oh, because your mom had told you... All I you... know is what my mom say. So, Ms. Griffin, Lakeisha, I want to hear from you. You reached out to Tykea. I did. And what made you do that? Well, I was in my dad's room one day because my sisters was taking up the other mirrors, so I was in there doing my hair. And after I got done and I'm getting all my hair supplies out of his room and stuff, you know, I'm straightening up his dresser, and I see some mail from Jackson County Child Support. And I begin to look at it, and I seen her name, Taikia's name. After that, I decided to look her up on MySpace so I could see what she looked Had like. Had you ever been told about Taikia? Yes. Who told you about her? My mother. She just kind of mentioned that we had another sister, but I didn't know what her name was. So, Ms. Richmond, how did Mr. Griffin end up with child support papers if you said he was not the father? Okay, I'm getting ready to explain that to you, Your Honor. When I moved to Wisconsin with her when she was almost two, and we, that I took the, we took a paternity test at that time, okay? I went on and did the child support, and she told me that, well, the test proves that he's not the father, so do you have another name to give me? So you I were said, told, you were told he was not the father? Yes, I All was. All right, now I want to jump over to you. Mr. Griffin, do you remember submitting to this DNA testing yes, years I ago? Do. And, and you my, do. And from my knowledge, that, that I got the paper saying I was. You got the papers, and they mm -hmm. said that you were the father. Yes. So you're saying you got mm -hmm. paperwork from, from one DNA test, mm -hmm. you got paperwork that says you were the father, yeah. and Ms. Richmond, you got paperwork that says he exactly. was not. Exactly. And I also I've called... been hearing that for about eight years. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's stupid, because when I looked, I said, Mom, there's no record of that DNA exactly. test. Exactly. That's what they... Hold on. So now the plot thickens. Why would I get child support papers? Well, I don't know why Jackson County would lie when we call. Mm, they said they cannot... Cool. I tried to get Your the Your mom just said card. right over there herself that, I, that, I, that she had the test done. Yeah, I took they the said test. Said you and didn't I... Oh, hold on, Thank family. You. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Wow, this is well, complicated. I All I know is I believe the other people better than believe Thank in them. You. When I called them, <laughs> they said that they do not have a test. Thank they you. said that um, From him. we took ours... But he did not show up to take his. That's what they said. And if that's that not in true, and of itself, I don't know. That but that's what they said. And listen, listen. That in and of itself is why, even at 32 years old, it is important for you to be in this courtroom today. Amen. From that very piece of testimony you just said. I want to move forward because I want to understand. In your court papers, uh, Taikia, you mentioned that one of the reasons you were prompted to get down to the bottom of this was because of the loss of your husband. Correct. One of the other sisters, Griffin sisters, um, her wedding was uh, May 21st, 2011, and she invited me and my husband. And my husband believed I looked like 
some of the other sisters. So he was like, yeah, we should go. We should go. And I'm like, I don't know. And then I like talk to the other people, like my sister and my mom, they, they like, you know, I don't think they're your family. So why would you go all the way to Michigan to a wedding? So we did not go. And that was the day he died. Oh, I'm so sorry. And um, he was a firefighter. I loved him to death and he drowned. Um, so, I mean, I just, I was just so sad. He drowned in, in the line of duty? Yeah, if you go in Macon, Georgia, they renamed the area after him on Lake Tobasaki to the Michael Jones fishing area. So, that's nice. And, um, <laughs> so, so basically her wedding day is Mike's death date. So, if we would've went, maybe he would've been alive. I'm sorry. You don't have to apologize. <laughs> so kind. You don't have to apologize and you don't no, have to don't. feel guilty. I'm sorry. I'm okay. No. I'm sorry. I just don't want to talk about my husband. Okay. I understand. I'm talking about. I understand. Okay. I... <laughs> sorry. You don't have to apologize. What, what I'm here to make you understand and I'm hoping that I can is that this guilt that you feel, first of all, I want to say it's normal. I have lost my mother and I probably replay that day. It's been 10 years and I still replay the day. If, if I would have took the 12 o'clock flight instead of the five o'clock mm -hmm. flight and everything that I could have done in between, that is natural. But what I see here is even another layer to this. That because of that lack of security, because of that feeling of disconnection, all of these feelings, I believe, are compounding what your natural grief process would be. And that's where our paternity issues, they begin to anchor us down, they weigh us down so that we can't move forward. And that's why it's important that we come here to get this resolved today. I think it's time to get some answers. Yeah. Yes. Before I go to these results, Mr. Griffin, mm -hmm. I want you to look across the aisle right now. This is a woman. You say this is your daughter. Yes, I believe. Yes, I truly believe. Well, to me, you haven't been in this courtroom acting like much of a father. Mm -hmm. And I want you to turn to your daughter right now mm -hmm. if you believe this is your daughter. Yeah. And I'd like to, for you to tell the court mm. how you feel and, more importantly, how you recognize what she feels. Well, I'm sorry for your husband, and I wish that I had been there for you. And I, I'm sorry for not being there for you. Listen, I do believe you have a level of regret. Y you come from a generation where, where I'm sure there was a level of, well, just let well enough alone. Some people believe that. We hear those stories in this courtroom where when things get away from us or people move on, you don't want to disrupt maybe what the new family structure is and you feel like, well, let me just play my part and stay to the back. But what I do want you to understand is as this young woman stands here and talks about what she's dealt with for 32 years, I want you to honor the part you had to play in that hurt because that is important for her healing as well. I'm ready for the results. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Griffin versus Richmond, when it comes to 32-year-old Tykea Richmond. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Griffin, you are not her father. 32 years of thinking you were this woman's father. I'm just gonna have to help her find it because I've got names for her, so whatever I gotta do to find a father, I'm just gonna have to continue. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. Let's go. You still my sister.
Mr. Whistler, you claim you currently owe almost $21,000 in back child support yes, Your Honor. for the defendant's son, a young man you believe may not be yours. Yes, Your Honor. You say your paycheck is garnished each week, leaving you only $70. Yes, Your Honor. If today's results prove you are not the young man's father, you plan to return to your home state to get this enormous debt. Erased. Yes, Your Honor. Miss Frazier, you admit you've always known the plaintiff may not be your son's biological father, but acknowledge he's been held financially responsible for him. Yes, Your Honor. Yet, regardless of whether or not today's results prove he's the father, you say he really just needs to get over it. Yes, Your Honor. No. Mr. Whistler. We're here today to get this settled once and for all. I've been waiting years. Well, tell 18 me why years. you doubt paternity. Uh, because, Your Honor, uh, we were in a relationship and about 2000, late 2005, she comes to me and tells me she's pregnant. And, uh, I always ask her, are you for sure it is mine? You had doubts from the beginning? Yes, ma'am. I had a torsion that, uh, you know, the doctor said right there, you know, you're unable to have children. So the doctors told you you weren't? Yes, Your Honor. Able to have children due to a medical condition. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. And now I've got this bill, $21,000. They're wanting me to I've pay never, for I've somebody asked, else. Never asked child support from you. I never asked them to get child support from you, ever. Uh, never. Yes, you want to no, go down and take care of this like a young I lady. I went down there. You can look at the paperwork. Uh, the paperwork yeah. always said the other guy's name. Uh-huh. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Well, we're going to find so, out today. That's cool. We that's are good. going to find out today the honest to God's truth. That's so 18 years yeah. that I've been living through this. Excuse my language. Please be respectful in the court, sir. So, Miss Frazier, when you found out you were pregnant, did you tell Mr. Whistler it was his child? I told him I was pregnant, and he told me it wasn't his. And the other guy that you say, you always put his name on all the paperwork. All, all the paperwork. This other guy no. signed what the birth certificate? What about the birth certificate? certificate? No. What you about wanted, the birth certificate? You wanted him to have you your last told name. Me, you told me if I wanted that kid to have, to have, have my last name. name and I wanted to claim him, I would be there for the birth. Yeah. And I was there. That's and why I got your it. last name. And then uh, it come out a little while later that uh, you had been sleeping with this other man all this time. At six months, you knew. Yeah, at six months after birth. So, after the fact. So, Ms. Right? Chrysler. Yeah, and? and? You did sign you did the birth That is wrong. I can't go on with my life now. You did sign the birth certificate, yes, am I correct? Yes, Your Honor, I did. And you claim that not until the child was six months old were you told that there could be a question regarding the paternity? Yes, Your Honor. So take me back to that time. How did she tell you this? She told me straight up, yes, it could be this other man's. Because he was proud to have a son and not denying it like you. He should be standing up if it's his kid. He, does. he should be standing up for it. Why he did. am I reliable to pay this over twenty-one thousand dollars when ask I was for that. working? I ain't seen that money. They were taking most of my paycheck. I've never given it to me. I ain't got no child support you, one. You never, never received any child support nope. from the state of Missouri. Nope. I not think one. You are. Miss, mm. hold on, Mr. Whistler, Mr. <laughs> Whistler. What is the evidence you keep holding up? This May I see that, please? A letter I received from the Child Enforcement of the State of Missouri just about two weeks ago, Your Honor. But they're not giving it to me. I've never received child support. And, you know, that just don't add up. This letter from the State of Missouri indicates total past due support, $20,850. Yes, Your Honor. And, and I've t paid no telling how much already on this child. And so, you say the other man may be the father. Yes, Your Honor. So, did he ever pay child support? No. I've never gotten any. No, at all. Were you receiving assistance from the state? Uh, food stamps. Okay. So, if you were getting assistance from the state, they're going to then follow up with the father, the legal father yes. of record, and I am lucky to pay to them back yeah. right. the uh, money 
You but understand? On the paper. On the paper. So who did you tell the state? Uh, on the state, it, or, I mean, on the paper, it asked if there was anybody else who could be a biological father, and I've always put down the other guy's name, always. Did you put down Mr. Whistler's name, too? That was the name on the birth certificate. But, Mr. Whistler, because you signed the birth certificate, under the law, you are yes, the Your legal Honor. father. Yes, Your Honor. We Did you have... understand that when you were signing that birth certificate that day? Yes, Your Honor, I certainly did. But I was to the impression it was my child. There was no other ifs, ands, or buts about it. It was mine. And now, here, $21,000 later in debt. And, and so, you brought a witness. I'd like to hear yes, from ma her. Ma'am, please stand. Ms. Owsley, thank you for joining us. Your relationship to Mr. Whistler is... Fiance. What do you know about this situation? I've been doing some research. Um, and that's what I have here on child support. Jerome, will you hand me that evidence, please? No, what do you know... come after her. And this evidence uh, is, is presented to prove what exactly, Ms. Owsley? The penalty for lack of child support. So your concern is your fiance could go to jail... Exactly. ...for yeah. failure to pay child support. Yes. Um, you know, I don't know if there's gonna be a knock at the door, you know, come get him, take him away, because he owes the back child support. And, and I've seen him take people for less than the $21,000. I see him go for five, six thousand dollars $6,000. And it's just not right, you know, for me to be in this position because of this lady here. And yet, you signed the birth certificate willingly. Yes. Yes. You know, I was in the, under the impression that I would, could have been the only person that could have been this child's father. You signed that birth certificate because you believed at that time it was your child. Yes, Your Honor. Because that's what Ms. Frazier told you and never told you there was the other person. Yes, Your Honor, until about six months later. After the child was already here. Yes, Your and Honor. you had already signed the birth certificate. Yes, Your Honor. I even went as far as after the child was born, a couple of weeks, I went to my boss and asked her for the money to loan me to get her a ring, and I proposed to this lady. Oh. And uh, she uh, took the ring and said, not right now, and put the ring on her finger. Why? And I'm here today to finally see that this is taken care of. A after 18 years, <laughs> we are here. And I still got to go back to the state of Missouri and hire someone before I go to jail. Because Dallas is almost 18 now. Yes, Your Honor. However, right. you have all of these arrears that are still adding up. Yes, Your Honor. And you could go to jail for failure to pay child support. Yes, you're right, Your Honor. Dallas is now 18 years old. Yes, he is. Yes, Your Honor. Have you tried to develop any type of relationship yes, with Yes, Your Honor. Him? Numerous times I have traveled over 300 miles to come and see him. And I would call. At your convenience. I would call and uh, ask Ms. Frazier, could I come by and see Dallas when I get there? Uh, sure. Then when I would get up there on my way over, I would call and say, I'm on my way. Oh, we're somewhere else. We ain't at home. We can't do it today. We have and, lives. You know, to yeah. Stop. But I change for a 10 minute visit. Understanding that I had called previously and asked you, well, did I or did I not? Well, no. Not always. Huh. You won't let me take him nowhere. Whatever. He's and he refuses to go, to go because himself. you got him brainwashed, Ms. I believe. Is there, is there a reason why you wouldn't allow him to see Mr. Whistler growing for all up, those years? Growing up, yeah, because, I mean, he, he never, he not once changed his diaper. Never. Not uh, even once. I was at work during the day. I was at home And you night. were out messing around. How can I do that when I was raising two kids all by myself? So, Prize were you visit. aware, Ms. Frazier, that all of these years, He's been on the hook and responsible for child support. I've tried to get them over and over numerous times to test the other man, and so because I can't afford to pay for it, and I've tried to get them to do it, and they have never done it. So I pay for it until. No, I haven't whatever. asked for nothing from you. Huh? I have never asked for anything from you. No, you haven't. The state of Missouri. Okay, has. there you go. <laughs> That's not me. Yeah. It is the same no, thing as you. No, it's not. For and lying Mr. to me this whole time. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Whistler, you submitted to the court pictures 
And you feel like Dallas looks like you in many ways. Yes, Your Honor. And I think there's a lot of resemblance. And so if he is your son, I do will you step want up to, to the develop plate. a relationship? Yes, Your Honor, I certainly do. I will step up to the plate and do what I have to do to take care of this $21,000 that I am in debt. But that's Jerome, I think it's time we meet Dallas. Can you escort him in, please? Mr. Whistler, thank you for joining us today. Um, you realize why we're here. Yes. And so I have to ask you directly, do you believe Mr. Whistler is your biological father? Uh, I would, as I was growing up, I did believe he was my father, but I was always told that it could be somebody else. You were? Yes. Always told? Yes, she was Which is consistent honest. with your mother's testimony that there she always tried to list another, the other person. Have you ever met this other man? Yes, I have. You have. Do you refer to him as dad? Um, I did one time, but that was just to get his attention. <laughs> okay. Do you have a relationship with that man? Not anymore. And how about Mr. Whistler? Do you refer to him as your dad? Yes, all the time. All the time? Yes. Yes, we got it, Garner. Now, you're a young man, and just 18 years old, and this must be very difficult for you. Were you aware of the circumstances Mr. Whistler testified to, that he's been paying child support and been responsible for child support for you? You know he's on your birth certificate, right? Yes, Your you Honor. You do know that, listed as your father. Yes, Your Honor. And yet, for most of your life, you understood that it could be someone else. Yes. And nothing's been done about that for 18 years. She has tried to, but Missouri has not uh, answered anything that she has tried to tell them or ever tried to change the birth certificate. So you have personally witnessed firsthand your mother make the attempt to change your birth certificate? Uh, I've seen her try to get the other guy listed as the father. Now, why, Ms. Frazier, would you change the birth certificate to be the other guy when you don't know for certain if it's him, either. So that the state wouldn't be going after him. Okay. So you were I've trying never, to... Yeah, I've never felt that he should have to pay the child support. And because it's, it wasn't right. Here I am, stuck with this $21,000 debt still. But I've tried to keep it's them from not, doing it. You know, this does not make but it go Mr. away. But Mr. Whistler, I have to inform you, because you signed the birth certificate, you may still be responsible for yes, that $21,000. Yes, I understand. Depending it. on today's results, you will have the opportunity to return to your home state um, and see if perhaps there is a way you can get that $21,000 debt erased. However, there are no guarantees. Yes, Your Honor, I understand this. But uh, if but... Dallas is your biological son, understand then you are rightfully responsible yes, for that debt. I certainly am. Okay? I love this young man with all of my heart. And always have. And always will. And I'm here today to get the final answers. Well, I have those been answers for. for you. Jerome, the envelope. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Whistler v. Frazier, when it comes to the paternity of Mr. Dallas Whistler, Mr. Whistler, you, are not his father. Dallas, that still is not gonna change my love for you and wanting to spend time with you. I still love you too. I am a man of my word. I just thank you, Your Honor, for, and now I can go back and try to get this resolved. 
You need to seek legal counsel when you return to your home state. Yes, ma'am. With the understanding that there are no guarantees that that debt will be erased. Yes, Because Your Honor. you are on, on the, birth the birth certificate and you signed it voluntarily. Yes. Your but Honor. at least now you have the truth. This has been a difficult situation I can see for all of you adults, and yet my concern really is with you, Dallas. Are you okay? Yes. You are. Are you okay because you always knew there was a possibility? Yes, I am, Your Honor. Okay. Well, Mr. Whistler obviously has a lot of love for you. And I'm hoping you are a man of your word and you continue to love and support this young man. I, I most definitely will, Your Honor. And this court has resources for you to help you begin to process this, to figure out how to move forward, because that's what we want the truth to do for each of you. And I wish you all the very best of luck. Thank you, Your Honor. Court is adjourned. Thank you. Ms. Myers, uh, you have brought your mother, Ms. Madrigal, to court today because you claim she has no idea who your biological father is. You say your mother gave you a list of 13 possible men, and you are hoping to determine who your father is today. The court has located two of the 13 men and has already ordered paternity tests to be administered. Ms. Madrigal. You admit to having a laundry list of potential fathers, but hope today answers your daughter's lifelong question. Now, Ms. Myers, what were the circumstances that started your search for your biological father? When I was 13 years old, I had a father figure in my, in my life, and he died at, at that age. And, you know, when he died, I needed closure. I needed somebody to be there. And so, at 13 years old, how did you find out that there were potentially 13 different men that could be your father? The list came from my mom telling me over approximately a year, maybe a little longer, she would always just say, you know, here's a name, here's a name, you know? And I think to her, it seemed like it was a joke. Okay. Ms. Madrigal, as you're giving your daughter this list, and I do not mean this in a joking way, right? you couldn't narrow it down from 13? You know, uh, the 13 that she's named is it's like 13 ghosts, fabricated. What about, what about Pick Any Man in Seattle? <laughs> oh. You made so that joke. So where does this Pick Any Man in hold Seattle... On, hold on, because any, you... any friend that she met of mine, a guy friend, she'd ask him, were they her father? Really, are you serious? Mm -hmm. So my thing yeah, is this, yeah, when, when she you, said, when, when she'll say, where... oh, is he my dad? I'll say, I don't know, it could be yeah. anybody in Seattle since she thinks that's what it is, yeah, absolutely. When you're to a point it where could be this guy right being here. being raised upon, yeah. see? Really? See? Ms. Myers, in your statement, you say that your life without a father mm -hmm. has been extremely difficult. Mm -hmm. Please explain. I feel lost. You know, I feel confused. I don't know who I am. I don't know my heritage. I don't know what I'm completely mixed with. I don't know where I came from. I don't know nothing. He came from me. Yeah, Doesn't I knew matter. you're half of the Doesn't family, matter. but that's only half Nobody the story. Nobody else matters. That's can't only no half man, the story. Can't no man raise me better than you can, even though it doesn't even matter. You so me? save it. You save raised it. me. Oh, I raised you. No, you didn't. I raised you. You weren't even there. Stop so anyway, Miss Myers, it. you claim that you left home when you were 15 years old. Yeah, I did. Why is that? Why? I didn't want to be around her. I you didn't, didn't want to be get along home. to this degree even when you were 15 years worse old? Worse than this. It's, it's even worse than this. The only reason why I'm even somewhat civil with her is because I have an ex that used to preach to me all the time about right. having to be right. with... be close to my mom. And I wanted to be right with God. So, therefore, <laughs> right. for God. God. She won't even That's allow... That's a good one. Use yeah. God. You damn devil. Use God. Oh. I'm the devil, man. Yeah. You're the devil. God. You're the devil. You, you, you don't, you don't Do you realize crazy. that you just stood in this court and called your daughter a devil? Basically. Because all can't this is unnecessary. Mean that. It's all unnecessary. It really is. All this is is for her to fig find out what she wants to know. That's what matters. All the rest of I this know, knocking me, making me out to be some kind of tramp and all that, it needs to stop. Do you feel like all your life, the way it has turned out, the situation you find yourself in, your relationship with your mother, is this all because you didn't have that father in your life that you wanted or that you That's didn't how I feel. know I who feel your father like was? I feel like I didn't have a mother <laughs> and I felt like I didn't have a father. You gotta understand, I didn't have to have you, I chose to have you. 
All four. So you don't chose do that. And now she chose that to have takes me. us back to determining who your father is. That's right. <laughs> Because in this dance, we at least know it does take two to tango. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, Miss Madrigal, you do admit that there were multiple partners at the uh, time that Ms. Myers was conceived. Of course, but you got to realize I was 17. Mm -hmm. So any calculation within that time, I could have been way off and not known. Because by the time I found out, I was four months pregnant with her. You see what I'm saying? So there could be a list of whomever. It's the now timing. It's in the, the timing. List. Okay, <laughs> the well, list that is no, oh, so that missing really, out of my diary. Really, really Monica, yeah, the list that you missing fabricated, out of my diary. the 13 ghosts you got yeah. in the book. Where's it at? It's gone. You know, ask who, your brother. Who it ask your brother. Who who it out? What that is book? that diary you're holding up? That's my diary that I've had since I was 13 years old. That's where I started my list, is in that. And all of a sudden, my pages are missing? Hold on. She had to bring it out here. Okay, we've got to figure out whether two of the men that the court has identified is, in fact, uh, Ms. Meyer's father. Your statement to the court says that you've met the mm -hmm. two out of the 13 that mm -hmm. the court has administered tests to, Mr. Keith McCraney and a Mr. Derek Smith. <laughs> mm -hmm. You smiled mm -hmm. at one or both of those names. It's an evil smile and a happy smile. An evil smile and a happy smile. Mm -hmm. Well, who's the evil smile for? Keith. Keith. Mm -hmm. So I take it we don't care for him. I don't like him. I hate him with a passion. <laughs> Not, wow. Did you see it? Why do you feel that way? He's just inappropriate with me. And when I'm at the airport, he's talking about how sexy I am. But you are. You're beautiful. So, I mean, what's that? Maybe a compliment? Wow. A compliment? Oh, girl, you are so sexy. It, he meant, what meant the that. Hell? Look how pretty you are. I mean, save that. Don't do that. I'll tell you what. We're going to meet Mr. McCraney, so please... Uh, come to the witness stand here and sit with me. And, Jerome, if you could please step out and uh, get the witness for me, Mr. Keith McCraney and his daughter, Carmen. Oh, great. Wow. I cannot believe what I just heard. Like, for oh, yeah. real. Mr. McCraney, um... Thank you for coming to join us and submitting to the paternity testing. I want to ask you first, you do know Ms. Meyer's mom, Ms. Madrigal. Yes, I do. Please state how you met her. You know, we got together. She came over. She told me she thought I was sexy, whatever, good looking. My okay, bad. we had sex. It was a three minute thing. You know, three, I, minutes. three minutes. Three minutes. He swore to tell the truth. And nothing oh, but the truth. Okay. <laughs> so, how did you find out that Ms. Madrigal was pregnant? I did not know she was pregnant, Your Honor. Uh, I'm walking downtown Seattle where we live. Uh, I see her and the baby at the fountain. I said, oh, cute baby, who is she? She said, my daughter. <laughs> and you giggle? Yes, yes. Why? I couldn't believe it, you know, three minutes. I understand it doesn't take that, but... So you know it takes two seconds to get pregnant? It was your three minutes of fame that had gotten her there? Well, where, Your Honor? Uh, That's I not how it also happened. found out. I also found out, Your Honor, that when she left my house, she went to another man's house. Sure did. And, and the same sure thing did. happened the that same day. That was the plan in the first place. The same day. Yeah. This wasn't yes, planned. Same Keith and day. I weren't planned. That's what I'm saying. My friend was your going Honor, to meet her up with his cousin. Your Honor, her and the same friend That's that was at happened. my house was at his house. Right. That's how I know it was the same day. Right. Okay. Right. So, when is the first time you remember meeting Mr. McCraney? I was 13 and I was going into 14. Now, your mother, Ms. Madrigal, stated that you spent the weekend at one of his girlfriend's yes. house. I stayed the night over with him and his girlfriend and her kids. Yes. Come to find out that one of her kids was his child. But yes. that she was in question at the time and they had to be tested years later. Everyone. I'll never forget. I told my mom, I yeah. said, you got to be kidding me. This is... I said, Mom, this ugly is my dad. Now, wait what? a minute. And, First oh, so of she all, was much younger. She was much you younger. may not watch your language around and your mother, but you got to watch your language in this court. Now, that's inappropriate and disrespectful. Your Honor, oh, Mr. So Crane, your daughter is here, and, and, and Ms. Vernon, you have held on like mm -hmm. I've asked you Thank to, you. but I want to understand from you why you feel so strongly about Ms. Myers. 
Okay, well, as far as Monica's concerned, she's talking about, oh, he's this and he's that. Well, if that's the case, then how come you got his picture on Facebook with you and your mom talking about, oh, yeah, well, is this person my dad and blah, blah, blah. I did that because exactly. I, wa I wanted exactly. people but to if, see. But if, if he's such a bad guy, but if he's such a bad guy, then why would you even I don't put him on Facebook and say, because, oh, yeah, well, is he my dad? I don't expose him of what he really but is. But you did expose so him. Yeah, yeah, but that? you that? did expose him on Facebook to a stranger. Father, you weren't even in Carmen's life. Let's get I don't facts. want nothing mm -hmm. to do with him, his family, her. She done started all this problems where her family got, their, got her problems. cousins trying yeah. to fight they me. Yes. They did. They've all treated her bad, and you admit they did. Keith. Yes. They did. Yes. Yes. Nobody yes. wanted to claim her, but claim all your other possible kids. Mm -hmm. I know you are upset with her. Mm -hmm. Or what she maybe posted on Facebook about your yeah, father. because like I told her, when I talked to her, I was like, that's just ratchetness. That is just sca some scandalous that's stuff. Ratchet? Yes, it's I, ratchet. I'm ratchet it's ratchet. It's ratchet. It's ratchet. But of besides these that, you don't know, you don't know these else? two. If there's 13 possibilities, if there's 13 Let's get it together. Uh -huh. These guys, everybody's attacking me like I'm the one that was laying down sleeping with people. I'm no. the one that was made. Miss no. Myers. Okay? I understand. I'm the one that was made. Miss Myers. Miss Myers. Look at me, look at me. I understand you're hurt. There's not a person sitting in here today that could imagine being in your position. Tell me what you feel. No, nope. I don't know why you're crying. Because I shouldn't have to go through this. Monica, I'm 26 years old with my own kids. It doesn't I shouldn't matter have to go through I'm this your mama and I'm your daddy, and that's what I've been. So no, you're not my daddy, you ain't my mama, you, you ain't been my mama it. or my you daddy. Can save it. You so can tell these people what you want, they don't live in my shoes. I raised you and I raised you right, so all this other doesn't no, even matter. Can't. I would die. For you, so stop the rest. Ms. Madrigal, it, you're very emotional well, as well. Nobody, first of all, don't attack my child, and I know you guys don't mean it. You guys are upset too. It's my child. We realize now that Mr. McCraney is not the man that you would like to be your father ultimately. No. Uh, we do have another gentleman here that has also submitted to the paternity testing. And at this time, the court would like to hear from him. Jerome, if you could please escort uh, Mr. Derek Smith in and Mr. McCraney and Ms. Vernon, feel free to have a seat. Thank you. Thank you. Derek. Mr. Smith, how are you today? I'm doing pretty good, Thank Judge. you for joining us. We're really glad that you could be here today, and we appreciate you submitting to the DNA testing um, because this court realizes that you are one of two men here today that we've identified that could potentially be Ms. Meyer's father. And um, you do know that there still could potentially be 11 more per Ms. Meyer's statement. Yes, I do. And now, how did you come to meet or have a relationship with Ms. Madrigal? Uh, around the age 19 to 20, we had a brief encounter of sex. And then uh, one day, I seen Samantha, and she gave me a baby picture and told me that you're possibly the father of this child. Mm. And then I did not see her for quite a long time after that. <laughs> one day, no. I was coming out of a building, and Samantha drove up with Monica in the back seat and said, there, there's your dad right there. No, that, first of all, first of all, I didn't walk up to you to picture. You seen her and asked me, was that your child because of her eyes? You did that. Don't do that. You couldn't even remember where it happened. That's what's so That's funny. That's because it was so brief and you were so fast, you know? Yeah, whatever. What's this? I was so you're all, fast. You were all over the place, Samantha, I, and you know it. I, That's why there were, what, 13, maybe 20? you were DJ Quick, my friend. You couldn't keep it. That's your problem. Yeah, okay. Oh, you no, you were just too slutty. That's why. Hey, you couldn't hey, remember hey. where it was. Oh, well. That's how fast was. the conversation yeah. back to the yeah. issue at hand, which is Ms. Myers. When you came in, yeah. you hugged. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. How have you developed a relationship? Well, uh, I talked to her on the phone a lot, and mm -hmm. I even helped her move into her new home, and I've met her children. We've had a good relationship. He's been everything that I want as a father. Do you do feel it's a possibility that you could I be do. her father? I do. I mean, we, I think we look a lot alike. Do you see the resemblance? Do you see it? I see well, it right here. Well, we both here. have Standing big foreheads, right kind here. of. Uh, <laughs> hmm. You know, I think we've heard enough, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> it's time to find out the results. Yeah, it is. Remember, there have been two men that have been tested, and we have 11 others in question. But it very well may be that one of these two gentlemen could be your father. So, Jerome, 
you please hand me the envelope, the first one. So this is to see if Mr. Derek Smith is in fact the father of Ms. Myers. I know you're hoping that he in fact is. The DNA test results show that Mr. Smith, you are not Monica's father. I never thought I'd have to hear that. I still love you though. It's okay. I promise that. Okay, I'll be there for you, okay? Yeah, I promise that. Whatever you need, I'll be there for you. I still love you, for real. How do you feel, Ms. Meyer? Scared. <laughs> Terrified right now, because it cannot be him. Mr. Smith, if you could take a seat, and uh, Mr. McCraney, please step to the podium. Thank you. Jerome, please hand me the second envelope. Thank you. When it comes to Miss Monica Myers, Mr. Keith McCraney, it has been determined by this court that You are the father. There it is. <laughs> Did you faint, Mr. Whoa. McCraney? I, I, I wasn't that at all. Whoa. No. I, they must have got I, I their test mixed up you or something. You are the backstage. father. There's no way. They must have got their test mixed up or something. Whoa. I don't know that at all. Thank you for coming back in, Miss Myers. I know you're uh, upset. I hate him. I hate his hold family, on, hold on. man. Can I say something? Can I please? Monica. Regardless to whatever Keith has been through in 26 years, Keith wasn't always gone through what he's gone through. Wow. You think I just jump in there with anybody, Ugmos or something? Come on, Keith was one of the finest people in uh, Bellevue. I don't care. The Please. family has rejected me so much that, that that's there's true. no rekindling what they, the pain they've caused for me. That's true. I don't You're deserve Keith. none of this. I didn't deserve it from the jump. I recognize that you have been a victim, I had to do but it's your choice. Myself as to whether you continue to be one. Now, you came here for an answer. It wasn't the answer you wanted, but you got the answer. And from the way it looks, from my vantage point, you've got four people in your life right now that have said to you, our hearts and our doors are still open for this girl. Still. They were are never still open. open. But they are now. For real. What'd they you say to me at the airport? Hey, sexy. Yeah, what else? So I said what that, else? That's it. What else? To that's me it. Yeah, time. okay, that's go it. ahead. Well, Ms. Myers, he might not have meant a sexual undertone or energy behind that word. He might have just meant to say, you look beautiful today. And that's something you've got to learn as a man now that you are a father of girls. Yes. And you've got to fix that. I'm gonna try. You've gotta find out what's appropriate and inappropriate and you gotta take heed. Are you, you understanding me? Yes, I do. All right, now going forward, it's up to you all to clean this up. Take care, I'll be checking on you. Court is adjourned.